In the previous video, we derived this expression for the total diode current resulting from a small time varying voltage superimposed on the bias voltage. This is a very convenient form to work with. Using this linear approximation for small signals, we've got an expression for the total current in the diode. It is the superposition of the DC component plus a term that is directly proportional to the small signal AC voltage term V sub little v sub little d of t. Note the proportionality constant. Capital I sub d, or capital I sub capital D, divided by capital V sub capital T. It's got the units of amps per volt, or 1 over resistance. So we're now going to define what is known as the uh, small signal resistant or resistance or the incremental resistance lowercase r lowercase d we're going to define as the ratio of the thermal voltage to i sub d where i sub d is the dc bias current note that this r sub d is proportional to the dc bias current in other words that's the current, or that's this R sub D would correspond to this bias point. If we biased it someplace else with a different I sub D, we'd have a different R sub D. R sub D is inversely proportional to the bias current. And we can now have a sense of what all that math is doing. Really what we're doing is we're taking this exponential curve, which is not linear at all, and choosing a point on that curve and then approximating that curve as a straight line for very small changes in the voltage where the slope of this line is 1 over this resistance value um, the small signal resistance in analyzing diode circuits which have both a DC and an AC component to them this approach then allows us to determine the bias point without the AC signal present and then using that DC bias determine the small signal model based upon this in this case the bias current with that small signal resistance then we can represent this or we, uh, as we, said, we can then calculate the small signal response by taking this and looking at just, or deactivating the voltage source and looking at just the response of the time varying component, little v sub little d of t. And in this small signal model, when we're looking only at the small excursions of the AC voltage, we can replace the diode with its small signal um, resistance. This gives us the AC component. And once again, the total response will be the DC bias part plus this AC component that we would derive. This approach of biasing a device into a region of approximate linearity and then creating a small signal model to determine the small signal response is remarkably powerful. We will use this with transistor amplifier circuits extensively to take what is otherwise a very nonlinear device and again restricting ourselves to a linear portion of the response then create linear amplifiers um, in the process.